Welcome back to the wrap up show with John Schaefer and Jim Russell. A reminder if you want exclusive year round Padres content, hit that subscribe button down below. If you like our content, give us a thumbs up. Follow us on Twitter at John Schaefer at Jim Russell SD and give us 60 seconds right now to welcome in our brand new title sponsor for the wrap up show, Mark Nimitz at Farmers Insurance. It is great to have Mark on board. And if you're shopping for auto, home, renters, or life insurance here in San Diego, there's only one place to turn, and that's to a San Diegan. Mark Nimitz at Farmers Insurance. He's got a decade of experience helping people like us find the perfect insurance products. Let Mark make the insurance process simple and easy. Support the show by clicking the link down below in the description to get to Mark's website and let him help you and your family with your insurance needs, Jim, right here in San Diego. Yeah, if you have any questions for him, you can email him super easy, mnimitz at farmersagent.com. That's mnimitz at farmersagent.com. All right, the topic today, and you can uh, reply with your thoughts down below. Ron Washington, he thinks he can get this team over the hump. And apparently, Jim, there's mutual interest because we had heard this weekend that the Padres do at least have uh, Ron Washington on a short list of candidates. So Ron Washington saying, saying this, I think I'm qualified. I think I can get that team over the hump. Now, remember, he was a finalist, Jim, two years ago. And they went with Jace Tingler. So if they didn't go with Ron Washington two years ago, do you think they go with Ron Washington now? Um, it's one of those things where, like, do you want to go back to potentially a mistake that you made and try to right that wrong? Yeah, maybe. Um, is he the obvious candidate right now for the position? You could say so. Um, he's He's openly talking about the Padres' job. He is saying that he thinks he can get that team over the hump. And I'm sure it's only because Jace Tingler got fired. He would not have said this if there was still a manager there or whatever. But saying these things now, you're like, okay, well, go back and right or wrong. You were going to hire him last time, it seems like, or at least he was in the top two discussion wise. So why not just go and, and hire the guy right now and kind of get it over with? Again, what? Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what this team's going to do because Peter Seidler has made the point that it's not about the experienced manager, but it's about the right manager. And while that does scare me, I don't consider Ron Washington just this like old guy. I think he's well-respected around baseball, and I think that um, he probably should have been hired the first time by the Padres. Instead, they went the no-name route. Um, but... I, I'm a big Ron Washington guy. He's not he's not at the top of my list. The top of my list is Bruce Bochy. But if you if they hired Ron Washington, I still think that would be a, a really good hire for this team in this clubhouse. Yeah, I completely agree with you. Um, I, I do think he gets a lot of respect automatically. I think if you see some of the interactions he has with his teammates, or excuse me, his team like Atlanta, and even just some players around baseball. We saw it when Marty Caswell interviewed him when he was in San Diego just a few weeks ago. Also in that Robert Murray article, Jim, that you had pulled up, uh, there's a quote that says, uh, I mentioned that I think I'm qualified. I think I can get that team over the hump. But he says, that's my thinking. I need that general manager to think like that. I'm definitely able to get them where they want to go. Maybe he's implying that A.J. Preller's model, and this would make sense based on the Andy Green hire and the Jace Tingler uh, hire, is that, you go with someone that is more controllable, that allows your front office and your baseball ops people to make some decisions that can then be implemented within the clubhouse or even with lineup construction on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, Ron Washington, Bruce Bochy, you know, other veteran managers might not take as kindly to that type of interaction between a front office and their clubhouse. So by saying, I need that general manager to think like that, it's almost as if to say, A.J. Preller isn't in that line of thinking. Yeah, I'm familiar with him from his time in Texas. But A.J. Preller has a way of doing things. If he's able to reverse course or change his line of thinking, I think I'm the guy that can get this team playing winning baseball. By the way, Ron Washington, in five consecutive years with the Rangers, winning seasons, four of those years, 90-plus wins. So to your point, his track record is proven. And that quote is a little interesting. It makes you kind mm -hmm. of wonder, well, A.J. doesn't want me. So here's me pleading my case to the entire world, the baseball world, and to A.J. Like, hey, A.J., Look what happened when you hired a first-time manager. It didn't work out. Hire me. I, I can do it. I can do mm -hmm. it. And that's what it kind of feels like a little bit. You know, what was the exact quote? I got I need to get that general manager on the on the same page yeah. as me. 
It's uh, that's very close to it. It's I need that general manager to think like that. Okay. I'm definitely able to get them where they want to go. As if to say, he's the difference between winning and losing. Like, I'm the over-the-hump guy. This team has enough. They're, it's not that they don't have the talent. It's not that they don't have the payroll, right? I mean, we saw what happened in 2020 in the first half of 2021. It's like, just keep that ship pointing in the right direction for six months, and I'm the guy to do that. And that, again, like thinking about A.J. Preller, it's a little concerning. When you hear other people say those things, it makes you wonder, well, is AJ going to be willing to work with people that aren't considered yes men or cons- or, or first time guys with no experience? And and that's the that's the part of this whole hiring process that is scary. Is that can he change his ways, and can he go not outside the box, but like outside his box? Because inside his box, it's a lot of first time guys, you know, former Rangers. Uh, you know, perceived yes men, guys that nobody nobody's really heard about, um, elevating from within instead of going outside the organization and bringing in new voices. That's the perception of AJ Preller, and maybe he needs to change that perception because perception a lot of times um, to to the general public is reality, right? You know, it might not be true, it might not be one hundred percent truth, but when you have that perception on you it's hard to kind of kick that away and make sure and, not, and like not make sure, but let everybody know, guys, that's not who I am. Mm-hmm. Well, AJ, you know, it kind of is who you are. Um, so yeah, I think AJ in high, this hiring process needs to look outside of his norm. And if, you know, Ron Washington might be a safe hire, right. And AJ might not want to do that, but maybe the safe hire is the best hire. Maybe the safest hire with Ron Washington um, will be best for this team. It might not be something that AJ particularly wants to do, but it's not about want. It's about what this team needs. And Ron Washington is the type of guy this team needs. And and by the way, to your point, I do think that this team ultimately hires the guy with experience. Now, I know they've been stated publicly that they consider the best. They they want the best candidate, right? The, The candidate that gets them over the top, over the hump. It's all cliche whether it's a 34-year-old, a 64-year-old, or an 84-year-old, I think ultimately they will go with experience. I think they recognize the importance of it. And by the way, we're not just, this isn't just, hey, Ron Washington saying, hey, I've got interest and I was considered a couple of years ago. We saw this weekend, I have the tweet right here, John Heyman saying that Ron Washington uh, is believed to be among those under consideration for Padres managers. So maybe the interest actually is mutual. What, what I would find interesting or my first question for AJ Preller the day of the press conference, if you hire Ron Washington is, why didn't you hire him two years ago? You might have put your franchise in a trajectory or on a trajectory where you'd already be playoff caliber right now and potentially World Series caliber as soon as 2022. And and maybe they still are World Series caliber in 2022. That's hard to envision. You watch the way the Giants and the Dodgers are playing right now, the 106 and 107 wins. One of those teams is in the NLCS. Shoot, the winner of this series, Jim, very likely, and will be the odds on favor to win the World Series. But if you didn't hire him then, and you had the Tatises and the Machados and all these pieces under contract, you had a core then. I think you have a better core today than you had two years ago. That That's the most interesting question to me. If you could have done it then, why are you doing it now? And maybe it's by an an admission of failure. Maybe it's saying, you know what? I made the wrong decision then, and this is the right decision now. Right. You bring up a great point. Like, if you didn't hire him a couple years ago, what yeah. would change now? And that's why, while I think Ron Washington definitely 100% is a candidate for this job, and I'm sure he'll be interviewed again, and I'm sure he'll talk to the Padres, like I think that's going to happen once the Braves are eliminated from the postseason or once their postseason ends. But it's like, wait, why didn't you do it last time? You know, a lot of revisionist history here, a lot of like, oopsie, we messed up type of, type of feel if they go the Ron Washington route. And that's again, it's just like another omission to Preller. Like, dude, I, why like why didn't you just do it the first time? And it took everything that happened with Preller, I mean, excuse me, with Tingler and that clubhouse and the reports to get you back to Ron Washington. I just it's 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 frustrating, but hey, if it works out and if that's the route they go, then I'm all for it. Like it's it's kind of sometimes you have to be forced into do things that you don't want to do, but in the end, it's like the right thing. You know, like if like if someone says, hey, I, w- I need I want you to do this and you're reluctant and then you end up doing it and it uh, ends up working out. Well, it's like, 
why was I so reluctant to do that in the first place? You know, like you might throw a fit over it, but it's probably the right thing to do. And that's kind of how I feel a little bit with Ron Washington is that I don't know if AJ Preller really wants to do this. I don't think he really wants to hire Ron Washington, but it probably is the right thing to do for this team. And I think that like one of the the stark differences between someone like Tingler and Washington, and there are many, obviously, yeah. because Washington spent a decade managing the big leagues and got to back-to-back World Series. I think one of the big differences and one of the problems with the 2021 Padres was when there was an issue internally, or at least in the clubhouse, it wasn't dealt with appropriately by the manager. That's yeah. not happening with Ron Washington. Watch the way he interacts with players and coaches. He's a he's getting himself involved, right? He's going to speak whatever needs to be spoken. Just just watch the way he is as an individual. He's not going to be someone that just allows the clubhouse to handle itself, so to speak, right? It's going to be in his mold, whether you like it or not. And I think, by and large, that'll go over well with a veteran group. Guy played in the man played in the big leagues for a long time, has managed and coached the big leagues for a long time. And by the way, the Padres aren't young. Darvish, Schnell, Machado, Hosmer, Myers. So like that's going to go over well, I think, with the veterans. And by the way, some of the younger players really look to the veterans. We might not like the way Eric Hosmer plays on field. I get it. He hasn't played well. But then you hear Fernando Tatis Jr. And is he lying when he says it would be a blow if they moved Eric Hosmer? He's someone that kind of taught me the ropes of the big league. So if you get the veterans in line, you get the youngsters in line. And that's why I'm hiring. If it's not Ron Washington, it's now, I don't know if you can get Bruce Pochi, obviously. And I don't know what other veteran managers were talking about, but you look at some of these older managers right now in baseball, there's guys having success and it's not just veteran managers. There's younger managers having success as well, but there's teams that are in the postseason right now. Dusty Baker, Tony La Russa, both of those managers are in their seventies and they've, those teams have chances to win the world series right now. Yeah, and it's not about, and I'll give Peter credit here. It's not about yep. just, oh, 60 year old or 34 year old. Yep. It's about the right guy. Yep. But again, the right guy, like, don't worry if he's a 60 year old, Ron, or excuse me, Peter. And that's kind of how I feel like a little bit they're maybe worried to hire that 60 year old guy or hire that Tony La Russa type, you know, like, like a, a Dusty Baker type. Mm-hmm. And if they go that route, good on them. They, they realize that. There was a mistake as far as the you know leadership in that clubhouse goes from the manager position, and they brought someone in who they thought you know demands respect in whoever they did whatever they do. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll see. I think um, Ron saying those things about AJ kind of s- just signals to me a little bit that he feels like AJ is reluctant to hire a guy like Ron. Mm -hmm. That he might be on the side of, I don't know if I want to do this or not. And that's the thing with AJ. Like, if they're going to do this, he needs to go all in. He can't just be, well, I really kind of wanted this guy, but the clubhouse needs this guy. So I'm just going to hire this guy instead. Like, no, 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 AJ, you need to be 100% on board with, if if you hire Ron Washington, you need to be 100% on board with that. You can't be like, man... I wish Jace Tingler was still here. It's just, I wish the clubhouse was different and better because because <laughs> I still the more I go back and listen to you know Peter talk or AJ talk, it's like they just put Jace Tingler in this glowing light, and uh, I just uh, will always wonder. Well, if you thought so highly of him, why did you fire him? Like why? Right, did like it, in the in the press release, it's like, hey, it, you would have thought that press release read like they were giving him a lifetime deal, like second in right. the National League Manager of the Year, ten games over five hundred, second best winning percentage in the history of the franchise as a manager. I'll give you one more name real quick before we duck out here. Dusty right. Baker is managing without a contract for twenty twenty two. Now he may right. get one based on what the Astros do, and I think if the Astros beat the White Sox, he probably he should. Gets, then he really should. And even if they, you know, win or lose, he probably gets a deal. And I know he's in his early 70s, but you talk about someone that just wins everywhere. Yeah. If Dusty Baker walks, I have to consider Dusty Baker, right? 100%. I don't care how old Dusty Baker is. He has proven and taken, what, three teams to the postseason now, right? Two, three? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Three teams to the postseason. I think it was the Cubs, the Giants, and now the Astros, right? Am I, am I correct? I'll look it up, but I, I, he's taken at least three teams to the postseason. I know he's taken the Giants, and I know he's taken the Cubs, and obviously the Astros this year. I don't think he's taken yep. anybody else, but um, maybe the Nationals. I think he was the manager of the Nationals. But anyway, it doesn't matter. This guy, you're right. Wherever he goes, they win, and he's just a stand-up guy. Those guys will 
you know, run through a wall through him for him. You know, the saying, I'll run through a wall for you. That's what it feels like wherever he goes, those players, how they feel about him. I think Dusty Baker would be, uh, if he was available, I think he would be a great hire for the Padres. Again, it goes back to Preller and that, and that quote from Ron, like is Preller willing to do that? Is Preller willing to work with a guy who let's be, let's be real here has more respect than Preller. Like who, if he brings in Ron Washington, if he brings in Dusty Baker, if he definitely brought in Bruce Bochy, all three of those guys are way more respected around baseball than AJ Preller. No doubt. And is Preller like, okay with that? To know that he has to take a step back here and be in the you know passenger seat instead of the driver's seat, I don't know if hmm. he can do that. By the way, he's taken five teams to the postseason: the Giants, wow. as you mentioned, the Cubs. He took the Reds to the postseason three times. The Reds. Yeah. He took the Nationals to the postseason twice. He's taken the Astros to the postseason in each of his two no years brainer. managing there. So uh, now again, I think he'll probably return. How could he not? It doesn't make any sense. It'd be it'd be, if, bro- it'd be bad if the Astros didn't resign him. <laughs> now, if they lose this series, which they're still favored to win, you know, if they lose the last three games of this series against the White Sox, I st- it still <sighs> wouldn't make any sense to me for him not to be back. All right, as a reminder, subscribe to the Wrap-Up Show on our brand new YouTube channel. You'll get exclusive year-round Padres content. Again, like these videos as well. And follow us on Twitter at John Schaefer, at Jim Russell SD. Until next time, you've been watching the wrap up show right here on YouTube.